Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. Just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to use free accounting software. In the last video, we just created the business, um, and so in this video, we're going to continue on and create um, some customers and suppliers. Okay, so um, in um, free accounting software, um, I've called these counterparties. So uh, if you look up the definition of a counterparty, it's the opposite party to a transaction or contract. Um, and in the software, what we're recording is transactions. Um, one of those parties is yourself, and the other one is the counterparty. Now, in previous version of the software, I, I called it um, I called them customers suppliers employees um, it's really all just a little bit long-winded I know um, other accounting software tries to use a different term uh, or, or different terms like contacts but they're not really your contacts they're your, your contacts are probably in your phone or whatever but so counterparty is the right word but it is a little bit of an unusual word um, so um, Hence, I explain um, it. Anyway, um, I'm here on the counterparty list, and um, I've just created this business file, and it, so it says no content in table. So there won't be any counterparty set up. So the first thing you have to do is create one because you can't actually enter any transaction. Um, you do; it does require you to have a, a counterparty. So you can click this new link at the top or add new counterparty at the bottom. Um, so um, I am just going to call this um, counterparty a customer. Okay. Um, and um, kind of unimaginative, but I guess you'll um, you'll you'll call them or give them the their correct name there. Um, now you don't really need to um, set up much on the um, counterparty. Sometimes it's just um, um, the name, and that's all it is. Um, now, although I've called this a uh, counterparty a customer the software won't restrict you in what transactions you can enter so um, um, it, it, it could, you could enter a sale to this counterparty then you could enter a purchase from them and then even a pay slip um, so um, but any in any case um, anyway I'll give them an ABN it is a very good idea to um, to actually record the ABNs. Um, now, um, I'll put a, a contact name and an email address. So, software has an option to email invoices or pay slips and things like that. So um, it is nice to have that filled in. Um, um, give them a address. It's got a spot for typing a few notes. I'll leave that blank and then save. Okay, um, now should be starting to get used to this um, these links at the top. Um, I call it the navigation bar, but um, some people call them breadcrumbs um, or whatever. Anyway, we can click this link here, counterparty list, to go back to the list, and then we can see that there is that customer that we set up. 
if we double click on them um, we come back to that same page okay um, now another thing you will want to set up is a um, well let me just set up another one so so let's say we're setting up the uh, a supplier okay someone that you often buy stuff from okay um, in fact I'll enter the ABN there um, but sometimes you don't really um, need to record much about the counterparty that you're setting up you just want it as an identifier that you're going to put transactions against uh, and then click save okay so now we have a, a customer and a supplier um, I mean, but every time when you enter transactions what you're going to find is that right you've got to select the um, counterparty um, however there's a lot of stuff that people buy uh, in particular buy um, where they're just not so interested in recording um, who it's from or you could be um, um, selling things and if you're running a coffee shop for instance you don't really want to be recording um, every even every sale or or who every sale is to so we're going to set up a counterparty which is just basically um, for when we don't really care so I generally call that one not applicable. Um, which is a little bit more friendly than writing I don't care. Um, okay, and then that's that's all you have to do. Just um, to is just put the um, name and that's it so at this stage we've got a few counterparties set up so we're ready to start entering transactions and I'm going to do that in the next video